Hey everyone, this is fantastic for follow-up part two, creating your syllabus, some of the mechanics. I'm going to try to send you some messages throughout the summer that help you create your syllabus. In the previous email, I sent you some information just about the context of creating that syllabus, some of the big picture developmental issues that students are going through and what times of the year. This email really contains some of the mechanics to include in your syllabus or your plan for the semester. Um, I'm going to ask you to create a syllabus that includes the residential college mission, our values, and our program outcomes. And then, in, as in any typical syllabus, you're going to create that plan for the semester for the students, the big picture expectations for how they'll be graded, as well as a class schedule. But again, the class schedule is a lot different. You're going to create a schedule for those weekly meetings but you have so much room to create really extraordinary activities and assignments because your students are living together. That proximity is something that so many other faculty can't take advantage of. So remember, as you create your plan, think about assignments, activities, and outcomes that are really particular to people living together in that close proximity. Um, attached on this email, you're going to find um, an annual report, or I should say a link to the Google site that contains the annual reports with the syllabus for each community. So that gives you a sample of what other faculty have done. You certainly don't have to adhere to that structure. You can get creative. Um, I'm also going to give you an attachment that's called Global Village Promising Syllabus. It's a sample of a different kind of syllabus that I created after attending a training with Andy Goodman. And so this email really is about just giving you a sample, some of the mechanics, some of the things to include. And in future emails, we'll talk more about actual learning outcomes and program outcomes. Um, as well as some ideas for reflection and activities or assignments for your students. So this again is just really starting to get your structure, start thinking about it, read the annual report, start brainstorming about what you hope those students will learn and gain, and um, to start thinking about how you can structure that plan. So I will send more messages later. I hope you're having a great summer. I miss you and thanks for your patience with this dorky message. Bye!